You wouldn't believe the African-American scientist who changed how life begins. For decades, biology taught that life begins with just one part of the cell. But long before modern fertility science existed, one African-American scientist quietly proved that idea was incomplete. His name was Dr. Ernest Everett Just. Born on August 14, 1883, in Charleston, South Carolina, Ernest Just grew up in a time when black scholars were rarely given opportunities in science. After his father's early death, his mother pushed education as his path forward. In 1903, Just graduated as valedictorian from Kimball Union Academy. Four years later, in 1907, he graduated magna cum laude from Dartmouth College, becoming the first African American to achieve that honor there. He later joined Howard University, where he taught while conducting advanced research at the Marine Biological Laboratory in Woods Hole, Massachusetts, beginning in 1909. Dr. Just focused on fertilization and early embryo development using marine organisms such as sea urchins. At a time when most scientists believed the cell nucleus controlled all development, Just demonstrated that the entire cell, especially the cell surface and cytoplasm, plays a vital role in how life begins. This work helped shape modern embryology and reproductive biology, influencing how scientists understand fertilization today. In 1939, he published his most important work, The Biology of the Cell Surface, challenging dominant scientific theories of his era. Because of limited recognition in the United States, Dr. Just conducted research in Germany, France, and Italy, where his work was widely respected. He died on October 27, 1941, at the age of 58. Today, Dr. Ernest Everett Just is recognized as one of the most important contributors to early cell and embryo science, proof that brilliance can rise even when history tries to look away.